So, it's been a minute. A minute. Let me see if I can still do the jingle. Hold on, let me see if I can still do it. Hold on. Let's get into some things. Let's get into some things. You know what that means. It's time for Hot Topics! Yes! Girl, how did I remember to do that? Anyways, so finally we got fucking Hot Topics. Now, I have three things that I want to cover. And the first story, I really want this story to blow up because it's some serious ass bullshit in my opinion. It's some bullshit. And maybe you'll agree with me, maybe you'll disagree with me. I don't know. I do not know. But I'm going to share this bullshit with you real quick. Let's get into some things. So I found this out. I follow um, Destiny FOMO on um, Instagram. Let me make sure it still looks good. I haven't done this in a while, you guys. I follow Destiny FOMO on Instagram. Shout out to Destiny FOMO. Okay. My stream looks good on my end. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Shout out to Destiny FOMO. So Destiny FOMO put on her story to um, give some love to... Oh, she already changed it. Um, you can kind of see it on top. It says Pokey Princess right here. But this girl's name was Pokey Princess. And she put this announcement out three days ago. Now it says Digital Princess. Her name was Pokey Princess. It was Pokey, it was Pokey Princess before. So if you see Digital Princess now, she just changed it. But her name was Pokey Princess. So we're going to read this. And, you're gonna, and we're going to go into why she changed her name please read our big announcement okay here we go hey everybody so for the past two months i've been going through something and now it's time to tell you what it is on friday i will no longer be pokey princess i'm being forced to rebrand and change my username i have no choice but to rebrand or be sued by one of the biggest companies all because i'm considered a threat and also because i'm an adult worker so read in between those lines it it's been very hard to accept this the past two months but all i could do is just continue to grow and hopefully still have the support thank you for letting me be pokey princess for eight years i'll be making a youtube video explaining everything because you all deserve the truth of what happened thank you everybody and i love you all dearly so this is pokey princess well her name is digital princess now but yeah, so you see right here. So let's um, um let's do back. Let's see if. We'll Hi guys, this up is Pokey Princess. Um, but soon not anymore. On Friday, I will be going through a brand change, and I will be changing my username. And you're probably wondering, uh, Pokey, why would you change your username when that's literally what everyone knows you by? Um, so for the past two months, I've been going through something, and uh, basically it's uh, keep my username and get sued by the biggest company in the world, or change my username and hopefully be able to rebrand efficiently. Um, obviously, I will always be known as Pokey Princess, so thank you guys for letting me be Pokey Princess for so many years. Um, but uh, it is in my best interest to rebrand, and um, that will be happening this Friday and everything like that. I obviously can't tell you the new name because that would defeat the purpose, but um, I will no longer be Pokey Princess on Friday. Uh, but I'll be having a new shirt coming out Friday for the new rebrand and everything like that. I will be making a YouTube video explaining everything and um, thank you guys and I love you. Hi guys, this okay, is so, Princess. So that was the message. Now, that came out three days ago, so this was her official um, goodbye message. Uh, let me do a refresh so we can start this because it's Instagram. And, you know, you can't restart shit Did at I, all. No. Okay. I'm gonna make one last post as um, Pokey Princess and just thank you guys for all the love and support you've given me for the past eight years. And I know that, like, this obviously isn't, like, me, like, quitting social media or anything. But um, just when you build a brand for eight years, and I know to you guys it's just a username, but it was more than just a username to me. Um, so obviously it sucks having your fucking childhood, the thing that morphed your childhood and made your childhood more enjoyable is the company now that's coming after you and telling you that they don't like you. Um, obviously it's just all business and so I will obviously get over it, but um, thank you guys for letting me um, grow into this persona and do everything like that. Um, my love for Pokemon will never change and my support for Nintendo will never change. Um, sorry for crying so much, but um, thank you guys for letting me be Pokey Princess for eight years, and I hope that I can 
do well with the rebranding. Okay, thank you. Bye. Hi, guys. So, that was her announcement. And, um, this is just sad. Uh, the new shirt for the rebrand is live now. It's a pre-order and it'll be available for two weeks. Link is digitalprincess.com designed by 7th Tower Art. And um, yeah, rest in peace, Pokey Princess. Now, this is why I want this story. I feel like this story should go big. Um, to me, her name was Pokey Princess. It was P-O-K-E Princess. You know what I mean? It wasn't Pikachu... It wasn't meow. It wasn't misty. It wasn't anything. It was the word pokey. Now I don't know um, if they even had the right to strong her, strong arm her like this for using the word pokey. I don't think Pokemon owns the word pokey. I'm pretty sure they just own Pokemon. But I'm not a lawyer, so. I can't really get into detail, but I just think that's extremely odd that they went after her solely because of her username. And then number two, I kind of don't really understand the point of changing her name. And I'll explain to you why I don't really understand the point of changing her name. Now, I don't know much about this girl. Um, obviously, she's um, a sex worker to, of some extent. Uh, but you could tell that she has like an insane amount of Pokemon tattoos on her body. Like, insane amount. Like, it's just Pokemon every fucking where. So, she changes her name. Okay? Then what? What if she continues to, you know, do what she's doing? Doing adult work, right? The Pokemon are gonna be on her body. So, the next step is gonna be they're gonna tell her to cover up her tattoos. Best belief, that's gonna be the next thing. I'm fucking telling you, they're going to go after her tattoos. I'm fucking telling you. I think it is a slippery slope, but I don't know um, her team. I don't know the legal situations of this. But to me, I don't really get the point. I don't really get the point. I don't really see her name being the problem. I don't. Because look, like she's, co she's, she's covered in Pokemon shit. She's covered in anime shit. Not judging. I'm just saying. She's covered. Look, there's a goddamn gas leak. There's fucking Nurse Joy over here. So what's the fucking point? I don't really see the point in her name changing. I don't really see how this is a compromise. I really don't. But again, I'm not her legal team. And I think this story is bullshit. And I think she should have kept her name. That's just my... Um, opinion. Let's see what she has. She's a Twitch streamer. Um, yeah, she has an OnlyFans. She has a YouTube. So yeah, she's pretty big. Um, but look, she got fucking goddamn Eevee right here. So like, is Pokemon gonna go after every single goddamn sex worker? And then um, I was talking to Elise about this too. Um, I, I told her about the story when I found about it today, and um, she was like, "Well, so are they gonna go after Pokemon now?" Because she has Pokey in her name. So are they going to go after Pokimane? Oh, they're not because Pokimane isn't in sex working. And she has a point. So um, I hope they leave her alone. I really, really do because of the two videos that I showed you guys. Clearly, she's really, really upset about this. Clearly, she has to give up her name after having this name for eight years and developing a brand for eight years knowing as pokey princess like that's like me changing my name and like i've only been doing this for two years now like i would still i would feel ways if someone said oh you can't be the phoenix diva anymore you're making phoenix you're making phoenixes look bad or you're making divas look bad you have to you have to get rid of the phoenix or the diva or both like it would just bother me too but i hope this story does blow up because like i said i think this is complete bullshit and discriminatory towards sex workers. That's just my opinion. But you guys let me know. But at the end of the day, I just think she's personally screwed because she has the Pokemon tattoo. So I think she's done, irregardless of changing her name. I think she's done. They're never gonna. They're never. The fact they got her to change her name. Nothing like they will always go after her. Period. That's just how I feel. That's just how I feel.